When you open Ocular, you will see the desktop window and the live view window. In the live view, you will be able to adjust your exposure settings. When using a monochrome camera, I would suggest manually entering your exposure time, but when we're using a color camera, I would suggest clicking auto expose. Binning will allow you to increase your pixel size, which then increases your camera sensitivity and speed. Ensure your clearing mode is set to pre-sequence and that the readout is 50 MHz. Anything lower than this will suggest that you're using a USB 2 port instead of USB 3. Here you will also see the histogram where you can manually adjust the black values and the white values. I'm going to leave this as automatic so that the values will adjust automatically when I'm moving around my sample. To add a line profile, you just click this blue and red icon in the corner and draw the line profile across your image. The live line profile will then be shown on the bottom and to stop this, you just then click onto the line. Make sure to go back to your mouse when you're done. To snap an image, select Snap to Desktop. This will move your image to the desktop window. Here you can save to a selected folder in the default TIFF file format. There is also the option to snap directly to a folder, again to save in a TIFF file format. If you want to compress your image, you can do this by right clicking on your image and selecting Publish Image. This will allow you to then save as a JPEG. Again, there is an option to directly publish to a folder and save as a JPEG. You may want to use a region of interest when imaging to focus on one part of your sample or to increase your speed. To do this, select ROI under the field of view tab and the box in the top right hand corner. Then you can select the area that you wish to use. To get out of this, select full frame, get your mouse back and delete the box. You may want to add a scale bar onto your acquired image. Under the measure tab, select your objective. You will need to set these up first. Once you've selected the objective, Click Auto Scale Bar and one will appear on the bottom right hand side of your image. You can adjust the length of the scale bar here and under Edit Scale Bar you can change the position of where it is on your image. Once you've set up your scale bar you can use the line tool to measure your image in microns. You can tint your image in the live view by selecting the colour you want under Tint Image. If you want to image using a red, green and blue channel and then merge the image together, you can do that under the Tools tab. Ensure that you select Finish Merge when you're done. Ocular will allow you to capture short movies using the Movies tab. You can set the length of your movie here and whether you want to capture your movie for a fixed period of time or by a fixed number of frames. Triggering for each frame can be set here and on our YouTube page there is a video which goes through all the types of movies that you can capture in Ocular. If you have any further questions about how to use Ocular you can contact our support team via the website live chat for an immediate response or fill in a technical support form here.